Where do you pull the refrigerator out? I can't find it. Yeah, we did. We pulled the refrigerator out. And then Kim cleaned all up here, and I thought, surely, because when I watched them, and I should have taken it away right away, but I didn't, because it was crispy, and you kind of okay. could hear the sound, and he was just walking around with it. So we thought maybe he'd get up there, but Kim did all the cleaning up there, and it's not there either. Huh. It'll show up. So it will. Please. It will. And you know what's so cute is some of the... To the gas tank. <laughs> yeah, to the gas tank, probably. Some of the mods and some of the viewers... Um, sent in $20 to cover them so we wouldn't have to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't have jailed them, though. Hey, so mods, we got our two adoptions. I guess we better bring the kitties. Do you guys want to bring the kitties over? Oh, okay. Lace, you okay? Yeah, um, I can show you something real quick. Yeah, yeah. Can you hang on a second, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys have ping pong balls in there? There was flowers yesterday. Get up. Oh, she's on a nice one. one. So if somebody chooses someone other cats doing something she don't like, she'll pop them in her head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she don't tolerate stuff. So. Yeah. You can see it. It's funny. Can't sleep anywhere. Get to have a nap. See you on her back with the claws curled up. I thought it was amazing because that's Ramsey, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was over here on one of those curved things. Those? Yeah, one of those. Yeah. And he almost completely stood up trying to get over that because he likes that. Oh, yeah. He likes that and that brown box. I was like, really well. Because you guys didn't even see this. I was like, he's, he actually stood up. <laughs> <laughs> How come we pick up to you? Because they all just so awesome. <laughs> yeah. Love watching Spiker, you know? Because <laughs> he's just underneath. Oh, uh, are you hiding down there? Are you, you sleeping? Yeah, Seems to be lately. Are you sleeping, big guy? Big guy, huh? Oh, I thought you were going to break a bunch of hearts. Might not stop the back. Sorry. <laughs> I had them up here so they could see them. Yeah. Yeah, let's see all your adoring fans. Yeah, let them see you. Boys are so good. Blue, they're pound heavier. He doesn't look like it. He's a little bit taller, I guess. He can't bite me. He can just come out. Mom and Dad's not home, so he needed his other mom's oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, is he something or what? Oh, they are both like that. Yeah. <laughs> and they really, I'll give you the rest of these. This seems to be becoming one of the favorite stampers of all <gasps> of all time. Here. Oh, okay. Right here, right here. Turn. So Wrong way. There you go. So your fans yeah. can see you boys. Yeah, they're the egg, bacon, and cheddar. Oh, well, thank you. So you all know these two wonderful babies are going to get to go together. This is Tycho, and Tycho's name means to succeed. And uh, he arrived here when he was only one pound, one ounce. Uh, he was seven, seven weeks old, so you know he was underweight. He was really thin. And his birthday is July 15th, and Ian's is July 1st, so they're just two weeks apart. And they came, though, quite a bit of difference in time. Uh, Tycho was really super small for his age then, but he's not anymore. And he's the one he came in. I rarely put four four stars with a flea. Um, 
rating, but he had four out of five, so he was loaded with fleas, which is, um, you know, part of that treatment that we did. And then he had tapeworms, and you know, he had the tapeworms from the fleas, but we got rid of those. And then he's the one who came in with his front legs like this and his back legs real unsteady and I'm um, just kind of wobbly. We put his splints on. You still have that yes, one? Yes, it's in my pocket. Do you mm -hmm. remember how small that was? That's what his splint was. We were and trying to look. use that toy. To <laughs> it won't work anymore. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah, his bone structure, everything. He says I'm growing into my age. Wow. Yeah. So we only put that on uh, like 12 hours off and on um, for like a week. And uh, even really by the third day, he magically was getting them all straight. And then we would let him exercise and he just really came around. There was a few nights that he slept with them on, but he was, he was just good. And it was like he thought, you know, I can walk really, really fast now and now I can run. So he's just done really well. His weight yesterday was 2 pounds 15 ounces, so he's almost doubled his initial weight coming in, or tripled, tripled yeah. his weight coming in. And then there's Ian. He says, I'm so very handsome. Two brothers going together. Ian came in also with problems. He's the one that this family called me the day I was leaving. I think I was even en route. I was on the road for our vacation. And they said that his tail was all the way degloved. And sometimes people, it's not always quite the same as what they describe it, but this guy was right on. He said it was a complete deglove, and it certainly was. If you remember right, it even came up here above his tail where Dr. Darcy thought she was going to have to remove this last vertebrae here. Well, her and Dr. P got together, and um, they got him all fixed up without having to take off any of those vertebrae. So his, and that's important because that's, what affects like Manx cats, if they don't, if they're kind of short, some of these vertebrae, it um, interferes sometimes with the potty end. And then that makes a problem. But his isn't, he's perfect, he's right on, everything is good, and he's healed, and you can tell he's healthy now because his fur is just quickly growing in. He says, and you're talking about me, aren't you? He's such a sweetheart. His favorite thing to do is stick his nose up in your nose or your ear or your mouth. They're just both nothing but per machines. So he came in at 310. He hasn't gained a whole lot. He's still at 315 today, but he's fine. He's nice and chunk, and uh, he'll keep on growing. So they both have done super well, and they're now officially brothers. Do you, do you know what you're going to name them? We're, we're going to name Ian. We're going to rename him to Finn. To Finn. Finn. And then Tycho is going to be Tyke. So he's going to be our little type. Good. Oh, yeah. you are the little he's type. He's the baby. You are the baby, aren't you? <laughs> well. Got a couple weeks. Just a couple weeks. Yeah. And the, and you and they're um, his new mom and dad's home for uh, the whole weekend, and so that'll be really nice to help acclimate. And they're going to send us pictures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Definitely. Yeah. So you guys are you're going to be uh, in a super duper group home, and you have one kitty at home. Two. Two. We have Lynx oh, and right. well, Newt, who is yeah. Nyandu, which yeah. we ad who we adopted last year on the 30th of October. Of October. <laughs> do, you, do you all remember Diambu? That's their second kitty, and he came from here, too. Yes. Yeah. So send us pictures. Oh, we will. Okay. We will. Two of the best. I'm going to miss them both. They helped me a whole lot this morning doing their paperwork. <laughs> you gonna jump? Whoa! Oh, that was a big and jump. This will also grow back. They, okay. they really shave them when they do their neuters. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's put you, you in your little head. carrier, and they yes, get sweetie. to travel home together. Yep, short trip. Too. Short trip. Oh, and I wanted to tell you, you know, as with any cat that isn't going too far, you know, defiance area or wherever. If you want us to help with nail trims or something, you just call my um, cell phone and we'll set it up. Okay. I just need like a year or two. Sorry about all the toys. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need that. Yeah, that's what a place, a cat rescue is supposed to be, right? Otherwise, you can't.